Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Now I'd like to make some comments about organizing paragraphs. Organizing paragraphs. What does this mean? Okay. Now, here's this box, for example, uh, here represents a visual uh, uh, representation of a paragraph. See, paragraphs will look different, they can be organized differently based upon what topic it is. As someone who's writing an essay uh, about, a descriptive essay about their, about their hometown, their essay is going to look differently and, uh, in terms of strengths and structures and how it's organized than somebody who's, for example, is trying to write a persuasive essay to convince somebody that they should uh, fight for saving the um, tropical rainforest, for example. So the topic of the paragraph, the theme of the paragraph, will determine how paragraphs are organized. But what, you sh what we should try to remember is that paragraphs can be organized, and they should be organized, in different ways. So I'm going to uh, suggest to you some common ways paragraphs are organized, and you can think about these and, uh, and pick and choose as, as to how you want to frame your thoughts in a paragraph um, 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 next time, inshallah. So one common way paragraphs are organized are, are based on time, okay? For example, if somebody who's writing an autobiography, they may start out with, with uh, uh, in a linear way, okay, first I was born on such a day, blah, blah, blah. When I was two years old, I did this. When I was in 10 years old, this is what happened. And then so the, the, the paragraph or the essay is organized based on time. So time is like flows like this, okay? So that's one way of organizing. Now, if somebody writes an autobiography, they don't have to start from like beginning, right? So it, it doesn't mean that all autobiographies are written this way, but uh, autobiographies or other things or even a certain uh, 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 other essays can be organized on time, based on time. Now, another common way of organizing a paragraph is by space. Okay, and I'm just putting these here just to tell you how different ways to organize par paragraph. For example, uh, if somebody's writing a detective story, for example, somebody who's writing a detective story, okay, now they might say, okay, the detective entered the room, okay? So the detective enters the room. It's a picture of a room, okay? Now, if they were going to describe the room, it's... It's, it might be logical to describe it like going from here, going from here, and then they describe the windows, and then they go all the way across over here, and then they come over here. So there is a pattern based on geography, so to speak, or somebody describing their, you know, the zoo. First, you walk into the zoo, over here you find this, over here you find this, you walk somewhere else, you'll find something else, and you find it. So uh, uh, paragraphs can be organized according to uh, uh, space. Another example of this is somebody who's like describing a person might describe a person, uh, uh, for example, from their head to toe. They had, you know, f uh, big hair and this, and they had long nose and they had t the hands and, you know, long legs, etc. So uh, this is an organized way of describing things in, in based on the space and uh, geography, so to speak. Instead of, for example, the detective walks in here, First, they notice the window, and they notice here, and they notice here, and it kind of zigzaggedy zaggedy kind of approach over there, which may have its place, and if it's done well, it may do well. But to, uh, but one way to organize things is by by space, from going from one natural progression of uh, of eyesight, so to speak, in uh, in a particular environment. Now, another way to organize paragraphs is by importance. Okay, so let's say uh, somebody's talking about, okay, the things you should take when you're going on a trip to, um, to I don't know, to, to Mecca or something like that. So the most important thing you should take is, you know, your passport. The second most important thing is this. The third most important thing is, and don't forget, you know, don't forget to take your toothbrush. And, you know, okay, now, if somebody forgets a toothbrush, it's not that big of a deal, right? But if there's somebody, somebody forgets a passport, you know, that's a very big deal. So things can be organized according to importance, either from very important to not so important or the other way around, or to uh, uh, not so important to very important. So uh, according to importance, okay? Now, 
paragraphs can also be organized according to, for example, cause and effect. Okay? For example, you can say, somebody woke up late. Okay? And then, they woke up late and this happened, this happened, this happened, this happened, right, as a result of that. So they can be organized into cause and effect type of uh, organization, okay? Another way paragraphs are organized are comparison uh, essays, comparison paragraph, okay? So in the first part of paragraph, they describe something, and in the second part of the paragraph, they compare it to that first uh, part of the description. Um, so, and, uh, so, now, a comparison essay would warrant that you're comparing two things, right? Or, uh, to, for example, if somebody describing their father in an essay, they would say, my father is, is like this, and they say, but sometimes he can also be like this, okay? So, it, uh, so, you're still talking about the same person, they're describing their parent, right? But they're describing two very different aspects of their parent. Sometimes it's very cheerful, and sometimes it can be you know, very moody or something like that. So comparison essay. So um, the important point here I like to suggest is that when we are writing paragraphs, when we are writing paragraphs, it is very important to be cognizant, to be aware that our thoughts should be organized. In other words, sentences should flow in some sort of logical pattern, whether it's based on time or based on geography in, uh, in, the, uh, in space that you're describing, or based on importance, or based on cause and effect uh, aspects, or, or comparison aspects. So uh, the key concept here is that paragraphs ought to be organized and they should have some sort of rhythm or flow of thoughts in them. And that will make uh, 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 paragraphs and essays in this manner more uh, coherent. They, they will flow more logically. And that is the idea behind organizing paragraphs so that they become coherent. And uh, that we shall talk about more in detail next time, inshallah. So organizing paragraphs like this is very important. And there are other ways, of course, of organizing paragraphs. Um, but it, uh, th that what I wanted to convey here is that you should start thinking that there is such a thing as organizing paragraph and thoughts in the paragraph in a logical fashion so it becomes more coherent and uh, easy easy to un understand for the reader. We shall elaborate on this next time. Until then, as-salatu wa salam wa rasulullah wa rabbil alameen. As-salamu alaykum.